Hello everybody, let's play Dead again. And actually, if there's one thing I love more than uh, going and fighting the giant snake Yawn, I think it's going to be going around uh, the rest of the mansion and trying to get rid of these keys that I don't want anymore. So we're going to go straight in here using the armor key. And we're going to obtain an awesome weapon. I will always take more handgun ammo, yes. God, this place is creepy. And... I knew there was something here, a dagger on the bench that you can't see. And, oh, hello. This would be forest. Now, we can grab his grenade launcher. And that's fine, but there was something that happens up here, and I can't remember what. Oh god, I... Uh, <laughs> I just remembered what. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh... 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 uh. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Never trust them when they're on the ground. Okay, so so far, Kenneth, Richard, and Forrest have all been accounted for. Two of them are dead. And one of them's dying from poison. Oh, Lord. Just get the rocket launcher and get out of here. Grenade launcher, sorry. There's no rockets. Ugh. Okay, now that we've used the key to unlock this uh, terrace and we've gotten the grenade launcher, I think we will go and get another death mask just because it'll help us get rid of this key we don't need anymore. Um, this is an easy to obtain death mask that doesn't involve a giant boss fight. It does, however, involve that bag of um, plant chemical that we found way at the beginning of the game. So... Let me make sure about this door here. Uh, the helmet key, right, we can't unlock that yet. I remember that. Let's go to this side of the mansion. And we will get the chemical out of the box. Is it over here? Yeah, I don't know why I second guessed myself. Because I'm running in circles. Is this zombie ever going to get back up? No, he's still there. Huh. Um, Our friend is still down here. <laughs> Missed. There we go. Wow, one bullet more was all it took. Three bullets to kill you. Oh no, four, five, six, seven. Half a clip to kill you. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, we'll go down here. Right, that's also the helmet key. That's once we come back to the mansion. We'll get that key later. Uh, let's see, we can unlock this door now. Ah, battery pack for the taser. Uh, this hallway has my favorite room. Oh god, the window zombies. Ugh. Hate windows. There's all these little subtle clues that you have to use the, the chemical down here, like that, that scythe leaning up against the wall back there. Um, all these like gardening tools sort of indicating to you. Okay, so we use that blue gem that we got from the statue open up this little tiger door here and we will get some shotgun shells Woot. yes yes now later on there's something very important behind the other side of that and there's a yellow jewel I think that we'll find that we put in the tiger's other eye to get that I'll see the scythe right there 
Now, this room is what we affectionately referred to as the itchy tasty room <laughs> when we were kids because of um, the famous journal entry that is in here. We get to watch through this guy's journal entries, we get to watch a uh, Umbrella staff member's mind literally deteriorate. The Keeper's Diary. Player po played poker tonight with Scott and Alias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. The dogs. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts. At, ar at around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on, said there'd been an accident in the lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back's all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. Ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll... I'll I don't know. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry, and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. It's the itchy, tasty room. And... There he is very man whose depraved mind we were just looking into. So we've tased him with our defensive taser. I don't think I've used that yet. We're gonna shoot this bad mother. And he's still alive. Reload. Terrible aim. Don't tease me, bro. Well, sure, I'll take another battery pack. That's... Thank you. Thank you. And that was the Itchy Tasty Room. Little stories of intrigue. So that scythe was on the wall there, and it sort of like hints that we're in this general area that we're going to need to use that chemical, because it sort of hints a lot towards, like, gardening. And then the room is actually indicated by this uh, uh, tool on the wall there. So we're going to go back and grab that chemical real quick. And uh, believe it or not, to get that death mask, um, that's all there is to it. We just have to use the chemical to kill this plant that is in our way. It's a very angry plant. I like to call it the bitch please plant. We need the chemical. I know it looks like we're not getting rid of any of our keys, but we are. <laughs> we're just getting more keys. The attic key for the snake is a one-time use, so that'll leave our inventory immediately. And then after we do this death mask, there's only one more door for the sword key. Ugh, that itchy tasty room made me hungry. Kind of, kind of feeling a, a rumbling in my stomach there. Please don't break through. Please don't break through yet. Okay. The windows will hold for now. This is the bitch please plant. If you walk close enough to it, it uh hits you. So I like to be, <laughs> and I'll show you. I just like to be like, Bitch, please. <laughs> That's so juvenile. The lid on this water pump is open. Pump the water? No, I'm not going to water the plant. I'm going to destroy it. 
Yeah, so there's two lines. You can turn it to the green or the red. Now, the, the water turns red when you put the chemical in, so that's the indicator. If you turn it to the red, it will only kill the plant. If you turn it to the green, it will kill the plant, and it'll kill all the herbs, um, all the healing items that are on the, the shelf next to the plant that you'll see in a minute. So we want to turn it red so that it only kills the plant, and then we can still use all these herbs. And ta-da, here's our death mask. Perfect. shot apparently. Good enough. Stay down! Good. Fortunately we don't ever have to go over there again so <laughs> we won't have to worry about them. Unless they stand up on their own. In that case we're just we're completely and utterly fucked. Oh, I'm feeling pretty hungry that yeah I really am actually this is becoming a problem we'll just uh I think we'll come down here and unlock the kitchen there's no further use for this key discard yep see see that it's good stuff take the dagger I would not ever, ever touch anything in this kitchen. <laughs> oh my god. There is, down here I believe, a zombie that doesn't move. We're meant to think it does. And there's an elevator that we can't use just yet, but we will be able to later on in the game when we turn the power back onto it. That door's locked from the other side. That is much later in the game. A bunch of spices that I am not going to touch. And we're good. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Jill... <laughs> You really need to stop falling over for no reason. <laughs> How many zombies have we killed together now? Like, dozens. Man, I'm killing more enemies with just the defensive weapons <laughs> than anything else. Uh, and that's all we need down here right now. It was mostly just a death trap. That didn't work, because we're just too awesome to contain. Alright, so now that we've uh, completely used that and we've discarded that key, we will go to the graveyard and we will put the second death mask in the tomb and then we will fight the snake, I promise. I really wouldn't mind living here, in this mansion. Like, if it wasn't infected, this this place looks awesome. I'm not so keen on the cemetery out back, but I mean... Still, it's a really cool house. Running down all the stairs. Okay. Death mask number two. You go. Let's see, yeah, you have no eyes. And this is the statue without eyes. So you go here. Freaking disgusting. Ah, Alright, now let's kill the snake. 